13.5 is on the Kruskal Wallace test for three or more samples. The Kruskal Wallace test is also called an age test. It's a non-parametric test that uses ranks of combined simple random samples from three or more independent populations to test the null hypothesis that the populations have the same median. The alternative hypothesis claims that the populations have medians that are not equal. The notation for this test is capital N is the total number of observations in all samples combined. K is the number of different samples. R sub 1 is the sum of ranks for sample 1. And we have R sub 2 for sam ranks for sample 2. And R sub 3 for ranks of sample th 3. And N sub 1 is the number of observations in sample 1. N sub 2 would be for the number of observations in sample 2 and n sub 3, the number of observations in sample 3. The hypothesis, the hypothesis that we're going to use is h sub 0 is the samples come from populations with the same median, and h sub 1, the alternative, being that the samples come from populations whose medians are not all equal. The requirements are that we have at least three independent samples. Each sample has at least five observations, any fewer than five requires a special table. The test statistic H takes 12 divided by n plus n times, um, this H takes is equal to 12 divided by n times n plus 1 times r sub 1 squared divided by n sub 1 plus r sub 2 squared divided by n sub 2. Um, then we would add all the way up to r sub k squared divided by n sub k minus 3 times capital N plus 1 with degrees of freedom of k minus 1. The uh, p-value can be calculated with SAS or by using the chi-square distribution table A4. And this is always going to be a right tail test. So the uh, procedure for this Kruskal Wallace test is that we would temporarily combine the two samples into one big sample, then assign each sample value of rank. The lowest value gets a rank of 1, and so on. If the values are tied, assign to them the mean of the ranks involved in the tie. We will then find the sum of the ranks in the sample size for each sample, and then calculate H as described in step 2. So, for example, this data table lists some of the data from data set 14, passive and active smoke. We want to use a 5% level of significance to test the claim that the three samples of cotinine levels come from populations with medians that are all equal. Now that particular table had to be coded, again, slightly different than the way it's coded in this table. But I already put this into SAS, and the program we're going to use for this is going to be PROC NPAR one way data is equal to work.cotinine, Will Coxon, class is type, var is cotinine, and then we're going to run this. Doing so produces a bunch of stuff that we don't particularly care about, but our particular test is this box down here, which gives us the chi-square test statistic and the probability. So now for this test, we do need to check our assumptions. First being that these are independent, simple random samples. independent and simple random samples. And the second being that each sample size is at least five. But the lowest one is the smokers category, but that one has five, so that's fine. The uh, null hypothesis for this
is that the population of smokers, non-smokers exposed to tobacco smoke, and non-smokers not exposed to tobacco smoke have cotinine levels of the same median. So I'm going to write that out as the median for the smokers is equal to the median of those exposed to tobacco and the mean median of those not exposed to tobacco and the alternative is that these three populations have medians that are not all the same so the medians not all the same So from our test, our Kruskal Wallace test, we have a chi squared h value of about eight point eight point one one four. So let me write that I'll write it down here. And our probability according to this according to this was zero point zero one seven three. So now because of that, we could write out our interpretation of this particular value. We could see that we, since the p-value is indeed small enough, we could reject the null hypothesis of equal medians. So we could write this as we are um, Add the five percent level of significance we have sufficient evidence we have sufficient evidence to support the claim support the claim that the median cotinine levels cotinine levels of the smokers um, exposed to tobacco smoke and not exposed to tobacco smoke are not all the same. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.